So week number three in the books. This is a day 21 update. And uh, things have been going good this month so far. It's been about a month. Started out around 250. And as of Friday last week, I was right at 242. So went into the weekend strong. My ketosis measurements look good. And it was at 1.9 in ketosis. And my glucose measurements are right around 70 to 80 range pretty consistently the last week. Weight was good. Uh, waist measurement was good. 45. Dipped down below the 46. So everything was progressive. Progressing pretty well. And then Labor Day hit. And I already knew there was going to be a bit of a setback because I had a big project. First of all, it's vacation. So there's always the idea, just let go, three-day weekend, relax. And I was already fighting some of that, just institutional from who I am and how it's always been, like the weekends and long weekends. There's just that habit, deep-seated belief in that habit, which I planned on fighting. I didn't really plan on that being the thing. But the thing that worried me was I'm moving apartments. So my entire routine is completely shifting. So moving my from one house to another, from one apartment to another, there's all the work. I hate moving. I hate being thrown out of my routine. There was just so many emotions in there, plus the leaving one place and then getting set up in a new place. That's always, transition is always tough. So I had a feeling this weekend would be difficult. And I didn't even have like food or a stove or stuff. I, I tried to keep it as much as possible but I didn't so either way I still was like you know what maybe I just won't eat as often or as much so pretty much just ate one meal a day the whole time I had my stuff that I could normally eat but what ended up happening is after getting completely worn out from the move I was like you know what Chinese food sounds real good oh that was my one meal on Saturday I had some Chinese food and I think I may have had some sausage and eggs at the beginning of the day or no some little smokies right and then the next day, it was like, oh, let me have some burger lounge. So I had a burger. Uh, so Saturday's Chinese food was orange chicken with uh, just some rice and some some rice and chow mein. So it wasn't a whole lot of food, but it was obviously definitely not within keto at all. So it was like, ah, oh, cheat meal, all kinds of rationalizations. And then the next day, so I still don't have my fridge set up and my stove. So you know what, let me just get Burger Lounge. I got Burger Lounge, had a burger with fries and a milkshake. And I was thinking, you know what, I've been very active all weekend, been moving heavy furniture, got more than 10,000 steps in each day. Like it was like, can't be that bad, can't hurt me that much. I started this journey out as a 250. Three weeks later, I'm at 242. So how much can it set me back? Two meals. And mind you, the very next day after a Burger Lounge, so this is yesterday, Monday of Labor Day, I was like, you know what, that's enough. No more cheating getting back and focused because I had let it slip. I'd let my exercising slip. I, I wasn't doing my exercising. I wasn't eating my meals. I wasn't taking my supplements. I just was moving all weekend long from sun up to sundown all day long, just exhausted, waking up sore every day. Wasn't doing my treadmill workouts, but it felt it'll compensate. Took my measurements today <laughs> and I'm now at 247. So basically put on five pounds from two meals. Even though Monday I switched right back eggs and sausage, bacon and eggs, pork, pork rinds and little smokies, right back to it. But that those two meals, not even two days, those two meals completely threw me out. Added five pounds back. My blood glucose reading was at a 111 today. My ketosis, I was at a 0.2. And yeah, just pretty demoralizing. I'll be honest with you. Uh, it takes three weeks to lose eight pounds, but it takes two meals to put on five pounds. And that's the weekly recap for this is something I've dealt with for the last three years is that it's very precise. You gotta be precise with this because for two reasons. One, my body, I know I'm very insulin resistant. And so any carbohydrate I have, it just goes straight to my body, it doesn't even leave. And then it just sticks with me. So I could spend weeks being perfect or being eating well. And one or two days later, of not eating or going back to my former habits I'm completely almost starting over it's demoralizing now that feeds to the second thing that's a big issue one is it sticks with me but the double whammy too is that it spirals me out of control if I have one bad meal it may turn into one bad week it may turn into one bad month three bad months a whole quarter goes by where I'm just eating like you know, I haven't had donuts in a while let me try that I've been good let me have a sandwich Ooh, pizza that's something I'm off right now so it's okay, I'll get back soon enough. And then all of a sudden, one turns to two, it's a slippery slope, two turns to three, and three months have gone by and I'm back past where I started. Those are the reasons why it's tough for me. So I, I intercepted it. So I didn't allow the second one to, to hit where I just went down that slippery slope and just kept going. I've stopped it, I'm back eating well. I'm gonna get back on the treadmill here as I've moved into this new apartment, get all my stuff set up so I can 
get back to eating well, but it's frustrating. I'll be honest with you. And at this point, usually if I happen to be talking to someone about keto and this way of eating, at this point, they'll interject something like this. They'll say, that's not sustainable. It's not it's not healthy. It's like, you can't eat this way forever. And it's just a reminder that, yeah, I can't. That's the plan. This is a whole lifestyle change. And I don't tend to argue with us, with folks like that because it's just not something worth arguing because here's how I look at it. The, this is looked at as a diet. It's looked at as a way of eating that's not sustainable. What is, right? And so when I think about where, where are you coming from, and that's where people tend to like recoil, right? Because the standard American diet, three to five meals a day, following the food pyramid, in my opinion, that doesn't work. That doesn't work at all. That led to me getting up to 309 pounds, even though I was active, I was either in the military, I was walking around warehouses, I was always overweight the way I was eating. And some people were like, oh, you're eating junk food and all this other kind of stuff. And that's pretty much it. That's how we treat ourselves. That's how we celebrate. That's how we have get togethers. That's how we socially, it's acceptable to eat a certain kind of way in this country. And to me, that's seen as normal. Everything in moderation. There's got to be more to it than that because it wasn't working for me. And obviously, to look at the country, we're very heavy as a country. A lot of degenerative diseases, lots of chronic diseases. It's got to be coming from somewhere. I think it, I believe fully, it's my diet. So the way I answer people who say this is not sustainable, how can you possibly be this strict all the time, is simply, I, the way I'm eating now, it may not work. Who knows? Maybe vegan, maybe all these other things. I don't know. It might not be. But what I know for sure is that other way of eating is not working either. So I'd rather go with something that's unknown, it might work, versus something I know doesn't work. This is my goal for optimal health. So the solution, right? So how do I get around this? How do I fix this? How do I deal with it? Is that what I'm trying to accomplish now is basically a full lifestyle change. It's a reminder that my habits are having to change. So on, I said it earlier, what was the trigger for this scenario was it's a holiday weekend. It's Labor Day weekend. So now I have that in my mind. I need to prepare better for holiday weekends, right? Like I can't just go off of a script. Or if I'm moving or changing my routine or changing venue or changing where I'm at, if I'm seeing that coming, I need to be more prepared because it's not that I didn't have stuff around. I did. I had the sauces. I had the eggs. I had all that stuff. But there was that trigger that was like, oh, it's vacation. And I slipped into old habits. Those old habits are not going to go away just because... I've decided I'm going to go keto. They're deeply ingrained. That's years, decades of living a certain way where certain things happen. It's your birthday. What do you do? You go out to eat. It's whatever. Those habits need to be dealt with almost one by one, case by case basis, and a plan needs to be put in place or else I'm at risk. Right? So I've got to rewire for that and be prepared. What I learned is that this channel is the reason why I feel really good about this is because it is helping with the accountability because I could have slipped longer and gone that second route where yeah, I already strike one, the first route, which is I, I slipped in an old habit and started eating some food that I just love, mentally I love. It just doesn't do anything for me physically, but it just tastes good, but it throws me off. But I didn't go down that slippery slope. Two days, I'm back. And this channel is helpful for that. That's where the accountability comes in. Knowing that I'd have to get back either on a live or do my weekly update help me arrest that spiral much faster than it normally would. That's the reason why I'm only five pounds up. As frustrating as it is to have lost eight in three weeks just to put on five in two meals in two days is demoralizing, but it's not the end because it's a reminder too what I'm actually trying to accomplish. I'm not trying to lose 50 pounds in a month. I'm trying to lose 50 pounds in a year. So my time frame is much longer than just the last three weeks. As long as I keep with it, stick with it, this will just be a blip and I'll get it back. And that's the goal. So I'm not starting over completely. It's just a blip. And as long as I don't let it continue and I get right back on, I'll continue along on my goal. Till next week, friends. Talk to you later.